today I'm going to do my first Halloween tutorial and this is basically the look. I'm going to teach you how to do the mask and then um, let me go ahead and take this off so that way you guys can see the makeup look that I wanted to do. And I want to show you guys how to do this makeup look as well as the mask that I made. So I'm really excited for this. This is like a DIY. It's an easy Halloween um, costume. So it's kind of like masquerade ball if I wanted to say that I am wearing false lashes for the first time, which is pretty awesome because I normally don't really wear um, false lashes because I feel like it's like really heavy on my eyelids, uh, eyelids and it's just like, ugh. So I will link all of the links um, how to make this and all that fun stuff down below or how to get the mask template. And I guess let's just get started. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed this DIY Halloween tutorial and I will see you guys later. Thank you guys so much for watching. My links will be down below and as well as the giveaways that I have going on right now. Bye! I hope you guys enjoy. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a primer. This is by Urban Decay, and I believe it's in the color Eden. So I'm just going to dab a little bit of that all over my lid, just like this. Okay, so I'm just going to take this brown from my Pixie Pinup palette, as well as this brown from my matte palette. And I'm just going to use this as a base, so it's going to be a lot easier to blend in the darker colors that I'm going to add later on. So next I'm just going to take a piece of tape, I'm going to add that to the corner of my eyes just because I like that sharp edge that it gives me. Then I'm going to take a black pencil, you can use any black um, eyeshadow pencil that you have, I'm just going to use this one by Wet n Wild, and I'm just going to create a kind of cat eye and just work on the outer corners. So after applying the cream, I'm just going to go ahead and take a matte black shadow and just tap that over the black that I've already put down and just going to make it a lot more darker and more vibrant. So I really like this effect that it gives it. So next I'm just going to take this silver eyeshadow base and I'm just going to apply this all over my lids. You can use any silver that you have. As I come I'm just going to take a silver eyeshadow, I'm just going to pat that over that base. I'm just going to make it a lot more vibrant, which is really, really pretty. And this is actually in the Blue Had Me at Hello palette that I have by Wet n Wild. And then I'm just going to go ahead and blend that all over, just so it makes a really nice, pretty effect. Okay, so after, I'm just going to go ahead and remove that piece of tape, and it's just going to give you that sharp edge, which is really, really pretty. So next I'm just going to line my bottom lash line with the black and the gray eyeshadow base. Okay, so next I'm just going to go ahead and apply some fake lashes. Now, you're going to see me try to apply fake lashes on for the first time on film. I actually take 20 minutes just to put these on. And like, I just put a whole bunch on in my face. It's so funny in this video. But um, this is actually my second time filming. And it actually came out a lot better the, the second time than the first time. So I hope you guys enjoy this as I'm trying to apply my fake lashes on. And I really like my facial expressions every time I do like I have like so many facial expressions when I'm trying to put on my fake lashes and my mascara. If you guys pay attention, like it's really funny. So next I'm just gonna go ahead and curl my lashes. Okay, so next I'm just going to go ahead and line my upper lash line just like this, just so I can hide the band from the fake lashes. Okay, so next I'm just going to go ahead and apply some mascara, and this is just to bind my fake lashes with my real lashes, and I really like my facial expressions when I'm putting on my mascara, which you will see in a little bit. So I have two different uh, mascaras that I'm applying. All of the products that I've used in throughout this whole video, I will link down below. Like, I don't know why I'm opening my mouth when I put mascara on. <laughs> okay, so now that you're done with the makeup, I'm going to teach you how to do these awesome masks. So let's get started. So basically what you'll need is some tape, some tool, scissors, 
ribbon, saran wrap, any kind of fabric pink that you like, and the mask template. Okay, so the first thing that you want to do is you want to go ahead and lay out your template and then take a piece of saran wrap and then just go ahead and lay that over that and then tape the edges as well. And I try to make it better. But how can I Okay, so after you're done with that, you're just going to go ahead and do the same thing with the tool and I'm just going to measure that out, cut it and then tape it. It would be so dang perfect. But I was just so Okay, so after that, all you're going to do is take your fabric print and trace over that design. So it's really simple and it's really easy and this is just me painting over the design and you're just going to let it dry overnight and that's basically it. Like who you with, where you are, where you be, but the only one asking me now is me asking me, you did? How can I be? Okay, so I'm all done with my first mask, and I actually did this in three different colors. I did it in a purple, which you will see next, and then I also did it in an orange color. And then you're just going to let it dry overnight, and then you're going to attach uh, the ribbon to the corners. I actually didn't record this, but you basically just, you know, super glue the sides to the ribbon and then tie it. So that's basically it. I hope you guys enjoy. And if you guys have any comments or requests, please leave them down below. So I hope you guys are having an amazing day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Comment and subscribe, and I will see you later. Bye! It would be so dang perfect.